That's right, we're burning the midnight oil tonight. And for the second video of the day, I'd like to continue with the uh, question, what is the purpose of a clan? Hello, this is Iron Bill, too old to grind. And uh, through this video, I'd like to look at the PvP side of the game and how useful it is to play with others in this process. So as you see, we just took a loss uh, and they do happen, so as we're queuing up for the next game, I decided to make a change up here. And I'm actually looking at a blue shotgun. If you've not tried this one out, the Badlands uh, Mark 2.24 uh, is actually a pretty good shotgun. Lightweight, uh, rapid fire, it's, it's a pretty good uh, all-around shotgun. Especially in the Night Stalker here, where I can go invisible, slip in on enemies. Um, if there's any kind of cover in the map to come, and of course I don't know yet what it's going to be, uh, it'll be pretty useful. I'm also running uh, um, Knucklehead Radar, um, Nameless Midnight, Positive Outlook. Uh, that seems to be a pretty good combination for me. It's not meta, but uh, I'm not good enough to run meta against meta players, so uh, I have to go Asymmetric Warfare. And so here we go. It's Solitude. A uh, good mix of inside-outside. I don't know this map all that well, but uh, one thing never changes on any control map, and that is everyone goes for B first. So uh, I'm going to charge in here, and I'm going to peek on B, and sure enough, there they are. And that's my first pretty good look at the inside of the room. Um, I saw two or three on the end there. You see I cleverly placed a, gr a grenade on the outside of the door so it would only hurt me. Uh, he tosses one, that uh, pulse grenade that isn't badly placed. They are going to take the zone, uh, perhaps. Oh, excuse me, they're not. We got this one. Uh, now I've got a good line on this door. And you can see that where I'm sitting I can scout and then uh, the guy walks in with a... Uh, fusion rifle and blast me right off. So, back to the clan question. What is the point? Well, in this lobby we have JSO, PD, and Dan, um, all clan mates, and the whole time we're playing here, uh, we are telling one another what's going on. Now, in that situation where I was fusioned off of B, I said, uh, There's a fusion rifle sitting on B. So the other guy is coming in. Uh, are ready to tackle that guy um, and they did manage to knock him off and we took the zone now since so much energy is being put into B and we have three players on it I begin to go for A but then I think no I can get a pretty good flank here with the shotgun round that I had and I peeled him off and now I'm going to go for A now I oftentimes try this solo uh, especially if a lot of attention is being paid um, to a central zone like a B. Uh, I was followed over by, I think, JSO. Or Dan Man, actually, it was. And we were able to split our resources there, and now we have a zone advantage. Now, this game is pretty back and forth at first, as you notice. But we began to um, really apply pressure at, at all points here. Now you see me going for this, I don't play it very well, lose a 1v1. Uh, he was running a sweet business and I just stood out there and took it, which was a really bad idea. I should have heard that spinning up and backed out of there, but uh, no harm done because I pulled more resources off the other two zones that we were holding. That's the fusion rifle again, I say back up, there's a sword and a fusion rifle in there, we can't go in there. So once again, if they're going to put that much time and energy into that, I'm going to go over and take another zone. Meet that person on the way out. He closes the gap by hopping in like hunters do, and I meleeed him. Um, sometimes we forget to do that, that we do have a melee, and it, and it can be effective. All right, so once again, going for the zone. And this time, I'll do a better job. Now, I'm telling my teammates at this point in time that I'm taking this zone. All right, so... Someone did charge up to get me. I have the zone. They have all spawned in that area. And you can start counting heads. And you can see that there was no way I was going to get out of that. But the game is control. And so mission accomplished. Dying there isn't such a bad thing if you get the zone. And pull people off of the other two zones that you're trying to take. 
And here we go. I should have reloaded there because the uh, positive outlook has kill clip. And I would have been putting a lot more damage on the next guy if, had I got jumped on him sooner. Now, I, I know they're going to start peeking this doorway, and here they are. Um, and they begin trading off like they should, so I back up. And I call it out to my teammates. And here they come. Fusion rifle again. So I'm saying, hey, there's a fusion rifle over there, but you saw my teammate killed him. I had a good angle. And speaking of that, if I know I have teammates on one end of, of a room uh, designed like this one around B, and this zone should uh, be taken, then I'm going to move to the outside and come around and try to get an angle. And you see in this case, I get a shadow shot, but of course bounce right into a super. Now my uh, teammate did go on to kill that person, ultimately. Um, however, there's not much you can do if you come around a corner and get caught by a super. It, it's uh, pretty much a done deal. Alright, so at this point we're beginning to take a small lead and then things really begin to roll in just a moment. We have a disadvantage on the zones. We're about to take B. And I switched to a, a void wall grenade here and it, uh, honestly I hadn't played that a lot and I, I think I, do, I like it. Okay now I see this guy coming around and once again I meet him with a melee. That's the knucklehead radar right there uh, for a hunter. Uh, situational uh, or awareness is just so much better. Caught this other person out here. So we've got the 2-1. And it looks like about a 13 point lead. And from this point it just begins to snowball. Now I, I can't say that their team really played all that poorly. But I, I would say they probably didn't coordinate as well um, as we did. Because we were talking the whole time. Hey, I'm going here. There's a guy outside the door with a sword. Uh, you know, watch for the fusion rifle. It's just simple stuff like that. Callouts um, are, are so important uh, to competitive play. I sneak in here and get this. I peek down there and see if they have two guys down in the doorway. Um, I'm going to back up and recover. And I'm still learning this map, so I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to go over and grab A again. I have one round of shotgun. If I get challenged, it won't be by many. There's only been one guy coming up, so and then I get over here and see that we have two guys sitting there already. Now that's going to bring them back to B, and sure enough, there they are. So I'm going to wrap around the other side since our guys are there and see if I can catch somebody napping on this side. And wood wall grenade. Get one. And he's going to peek. I know he is. And he does. Now he hurts me pretty bad. And I run. And I figure, oh, he's going to chase me. So that's cool. I let him see me. Now the whole time he's doing that, we have somebody planted on the zone. And he realizes his mistake too late. And by that point in time, I've recovered. He charges our guy on the plate. I come in from the side, and that's the end of him. Now, this is interesting. I snagged that, I thought, in time to capture him and kill his super, but you can see from the replay that uh, he actually didn't get hit till after he hit us. Now, he soon died after that, so I guess you can call that a trade, but he did get both of us, so uh, good on him. Now, pulling through the side, oh, and then I say, hey, sword guy, outside the B door uh, on their side don't go out there now they know not to chase out there and get taken out and our guy kills him that's the heavy ammo you see right over there because of the call out he was able to go out and kill him now we 
we are really starting to walk away at this point. And from this point on, I really won't need to add any more to what I was thinking and, and what we were talking about. Uh, the, the, the point I want to make in all of this, obviously, is uh, because of coordination, because uh, we did cooperate with one another, uh, we were able to take control of this match. And uh, even though they, they really were okay players, um, we were just able to out, outdo them. And once the advantage got to a point, uh, you can see now that there's really not much chance they can come back from this. I'm going to go up here and take this uh, from this guy. I called it out. Here we have another person there. I called out what I'm doing. Actually, he, uh, the other fellow was, was calling too. I mean, it, it, I don't need to make this sound like I'm the only person doing call outs because that's certainly not true. Um, but anyway, it was a very enjoyable match, and even though I raged a bit tonight, <laughs> you know, we all do that in PvP, it was fun playing with others. So, uh, tool to grind, get out there and play with one another. If you guys who haven't tried it yet, please hook up. This is Iron Bill, out.